Hey, what's going on guys? Silvercase of Darkness here. Now, um, today is a little challenge that I've, that's going around on a little app that I have, which is called Cosplay Amino. And what, what the challenge is, would be, what the challenge is right now, it's going to be the, known as the Cosplay Omega Challenge. For those that don't know what the Cosplay Omega Challenge is, it's basically, you're dressed in cosplay, you're, it's going to happen all, it's going to happen throughout time sections within the day. It's, I believe it's already happening right now, because it's, because, Central time, it happens from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central time, so it's pretty much happening, like, it's been happening right now. It's like 5.21 right now. And then it's going to happen tomorrow also. Um, I think it's like 11 a.m. to, like, 5 p.m., I think. Somewhere around there. Okay, what I'm cosplaying is Lyran from Ruby. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and go off screen to change off a little bit, and then we're going to get right to it. So, let's get, so, let's get the show on the road, all right? Now that I moved from my camera to my webcam to my weird webcam now, we're gonna go ahead and record. So let's go ahead and do this. So the only hashtag you're gonna need is just co is just hashtag cosplay amino, so let's get to, let's find out. Let's get right to this right now. Hi! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Did it finally work this time? Did it finally work this time? Hang on. No. Hang on. <laughs> At least you can hear me, right? Cool. I can't see. Okay. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm trying my best. I this is actually my first time actually trying Omega. Funny enough. <laughs> mhm. Mm uh, do you use Omega pretty often? Uh, do you use Omega pretty often? I used to use it a lot more often than you now. Right. But I really just have webcam webcam on my computer that's like already in there. Mhm. Mm so I just like start it. <laughs> That's awesome, but uh, how's it going? That's awesome, but uh, how's it going? It's good, how's it going with you? Alright, aside from my uh, webcam right. from really my, acting uh, up, I don't know why is that. <laughs> Since you're also a Cosmo Amino fan, uh, where are you from? California. Oh, cool, I'm from Texas. <laughs> cool, I'm from Texas. I know, like, one cosplayer in Texas, but now I know two! Yay! Yeah. It's the finding of hugs. Virtual hugs. Why? 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 And then Mark would be like, hello from the other side! Oh god. <laughs> Looking down from the heavens at Jean. Like, I wish I could help you, Jean! I'm dead! Stupid titans! Oh, freaking... Always splitting things in half. Anyway! Bert! Rip. <laughs> Ryder! I thought you guys were dead! It's funny because like even though you can't see me like when the when this gets up on YouTube I have, I have, I also have another camera just like sitting right next to me that's also gonna be put on while I'm editing so it'll be up there in spaghetti <laughs> never for spaghetti never forgetty. <laughs> Kawaii this yo. Your phone dropped? My phone dropped? Sorry, there's a song playing in the background that I keep listening to. Keep oh, I got gotcha. you. distracting me. I am so sorry. Oh, I got gotcha. you. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, uh, we all get distracted occasionally. It's, uh, we all get distracted occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
happen one day I'm going to go to a con, paint half my face black, and then wear like a collar shirt that goes up to here and just like paint this side of it black and be like, I'm Marco. Oh Hi. my. <laughs> That's gonna be very dark too. Oh my god. Imagine that going to Attack a Titan photo shoot and then bring and then just doing that. Um. Okay. I'm hoping to go to Anime Expo and since me and my friend are only going on Saturday, mm -hmm. there's an Attack on Titan shoot that day, and I'm like, yes, we're gonna go to that. Oh. Dancing. Hey. Yay, we're dancing now. Dancing. Yay. Yay. You can't see it, but I'm dancing, so hopefully we never get the video out. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, Hey there. Erwin, I'm guessing. <laughs> Is your webcam per perhaps... <laughs> oh, there you go. So that's a very well done Erwin, by the way. Really awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no one said that yet, so... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, what can you do? You gotta, you gotta compliment every... You gotta get... Everyone gets a compliment every now and then, am I right? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Documentation of uh, epicness, then. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much. Like there are some viewers that I have that like haven't been that don't go to a lot of conventions and often can be shy of going to conventions. Have you had your share of going to conventions? Like been to several? No, I went my first one in um in July. Um, ah, so you're going to your first one. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is actually a really good way to kind of just um break the ice, so to speak, with people. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> What they convention would it be, if I may ask? Meet people as well and interact. And... Hmm? Uh, what convention would that be, if I may ask? Uh, I'm going to Narcon in Sweden, in Jokerman. Ah, from Sw oh, you're from Sweden, huh? Are you? No, I'm or... not from Sweden, I'm from Scotland. Uh, oh! <laughs> I'm from Skittle. Oh, that, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. I think uh, the second con I'm planning is uh, the Expo in LA next year, perhaps. So. Might oh, um, Anime Expo, I think? Uh, yeah. I oh, think, cool. Uh, friends want to go to that, so we might, might do that. Mm hmm. That would be a. That's a big, huge job to say. So. Oh, yeah. Anime Expo is huge. I've been wanting to go. Because I had friends that went to the convention. I've been wanting to go myself, but. Uh, I just never have the. I just never have the time to actually just travel out. Even though. Like, there are times where I do, but then there's nothing happening during that time, you know? <laughs> I think. That what we're going to in July is just the right amount of size to start off. It's not too big, it's not too small. Yeah. It works out perfectly in there. So you go to Expo. Wow. A uh, uh, friend I'm going with next year basically says it's like, it's huge. So oh, yeah. Like, you know. But not just that. I think it, it's the atmosphere. It's the people. And everything else is just much more, um, what's the word? I would love like some people have their have their own talents and it's so and they can have and they can have like some sort of like I don't know like some relative that works that has a workshop or something and I'm like I want to know how to do I would love to have a relative that, that would have that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's different levels. It just blows my mind. You know some of the stuff that people come up with. But yeah, the creativity is like it's it's more than anything I see in any other hobby. It, it just, it's like, wow, you know, it's just, it's good. It's really good how people come up with these ideas and follow through with it. And that's, right. that's, I suppose, the power of their passion. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> how long have you been cosplaying? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to work out the math here. Um, since about January, Feb, so that was it, yeah. Of this year? Yeah, about January, February. Yeah, about okay, so pretty only, recent. Only. Pretty recent, yeah. Yeah, it was actually a, it was something I wanted to do for a long, but didn't do it until it came around and uh, a friend of mine who'd been doing it for like you know a year was like, oh, yeah, you should try it. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we did, <laughs> and that's it again. 
<laughs> that's cool. It, it always have it always helps out if you have uh, that certain someone just to help you out, like um, and get you influenced into it. Yeah, that's it. It's a big kind of push in the back to get to get going. I think um, if you did it yourself, it would be on computer uh, willpower and craziness alone. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Person is typing. I hope you can hear me just fine. I can hear some stuff. I can hear the typing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Always happens whenever I type fast. That's a pretty long name. <laughs> MTT. That just reminds me of. Uh, that kind of reminded me of Undertale for some reason. <laughs> it is a. <laughs> you cosplay Metaton! Funny, because I cosplay Sans too, so. That's understandable. Oh god, the boots don't even- oh my god. <laughs> I can't remember- yeah, just the boots in general. You think? <laughs> hmm, that's understandable. Really? <laughs> what was the last con you went to exactly, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, cool! That's awesome. <laughs> is that like, um, the only thing closest at my, at my own college campus is the, um, it's just the Terry County College, like, northeast campus of, um, anime clubs, and then, like, there's only one campus around the entire, the entire area that all, that always has an anime club, and then I was told about it by some friends at the club, but I was like, I don't know where to look up for details on it, I think it was called, like, ToroCon or something, and then I didn't know any details about it, because I tried to look it up on, like, um, on, online, pretty much, pretty much almost anywhere I can find, and then, nope, I couldn't find anything, so I couldn't go. <laughs> Always, always spread around the message, the good message of cosplay, ever around the world. Cause like there will be some people that like, actually I think you probably type, type it, it, probably type it in. But like I'm actually going around asking cosplayers and throughout cosplay, you know, just like, um, cause there will be, cause there are some viewers on my channel that uh that are relatively. Wait, how long have you been into cosplay? You're, okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I think I could probably ask, but um. To the viewers, uh, to the viewers at home, like, what, um, what do you think? Tell them something that would like, you know, like words of inspiration or maybe words of advice or something for those that are trying to get into cosplay and such. If anything, Hang on, maybe I may need, to, maybe I may need to turn up the volume. Hang on. Here we go. Cosplay should be always fun, never stressful, and no one has the right to put down or criticize your cosplay or the work you put into it. That's true. That's very true. Because there will always, because for one thing, there will always be cosplay hate throughout anywhere, throughout everywhere you go. It doesn't matter where. But um, even I get cosplay hate too. But do I care? No. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> cosplay knows no gender, height, weight, or age. Also true. Also very true. Because uh, because pe people have the right to crossplay. People have the right to have the, to like, whether, like, you could be like a tall Edward Elric from Full Moon Alchemist, or maybe, uh, who's a tall, who's a short, who's a tall character? Um, hmm. Or maybe a short, um, Alucard from Helsing, or maybe, or even, a, or even age, like, you can be like, you could be like a, you could be 22 and still cosplay Ash Ketchum from the original Pokemon series. Oh yeah, that's another good one. Always come prepared to a con. You're always good, cause um, I actually made a couple mistakes to this too.
Yeah, it always got it always good it's always good to come prepared because there'll be there'll be those times where you um where you even break your cosplays too. Like my guns for Ren, for example, they tend to break a lot. As the blades, for example, like when I when they were attached to the guns, they tend to break a lot. And I hate that so much. But uh, I actually went prepared with with uh, the next convention after that when I when I did Gaius again because I because I remember buying a um, a lollipop from from a store from a store like a couple of days before and I was like okay and then like ten minutes after I walk into the um, I'm at the convention it break I drop it by accident and it breaks oh no <laughs> no. Just a word of advice for uh, when you do guys in the future. Make sure your make sure your candy's not that fresh. <laughs> make sure your candy's actually. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Just try and make sure like, rip in peace. In spaghetti. <laughs> I think you said have some spaghetti to be forgetting your <laughs> I never heard that one before. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so good. <laughs> hey. Where are you exactly? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Someone from England. Yay. Oh. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey there. What's up? I guess you're also a fan of Cosplay Amino, but I'm <laughs> Cosplay Amino as well. Not much of a talker, aren't ya? Yeah, I gotcha. Not even text? Close enough. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Judging from, from the look of the page, I see that. <laughs> but thank you, though. Thank you so much. <laughs> really? I mean, from your tutorial, from uh, when you... Uh, Spike your wig. I think that'd be a good. I think that'd be a good video. That's probably really fine too. I mean, like, there's plenty of tutorials that mainly revolve around texts. There's plenty of those. So if you don't feel like putting your voice out there and just put, just want to put it like through text and whatever, like what you, like what you do with me, it's perfectly fine. I mean, like, it's not like like people are gonna. It's not like people are gonna judge about it or anything. As far as I know, I mean, like when I first, when I first did, I mean, when I first did YouTube, all I did was just text and then. I just slowly opened up to voice, and then people were like, "Oh my God, you have actually have a voice!" And then yeah, like, yeah, is that really that big of a deal? <laughs> How long have you been cosplaying? All right, that leads to my second question. Um, there are viewers I have on my channel that are like new to cosplay, getting into cosplay. Um, do you have any like words of like advice or encouragement or stuff to like get to, to get them like pulled in to such, if any? That's a good one, <laughs> cause like another, cause it, should, it really shouldn't matter about like being at height, weight, race, gender. It really shouldn't matter. It really shouldn't. So many people, like so many people, were telling me about it. Like, um, they're like, how much of a bitch is probably gonna be just to wear the whole thing? Cause I, cause I can't, I can't walk in that. I have to waddle. <laughs> just to get, just to get around conventions and such. I have to waddle. I can't walk for shit in that. <laughs> Oh! Huh. 
Oh, okay, I know. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Thought I'd get a ch got a little smile off. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> got you there. Hey there. Hey. Where are you from? Where I'm from, or where, where my from character? Where my character? Uh, no. Where are you from? Oh, um, um I'm from North Texas. From where, North are Texas. From? where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Serbia. Serbia, huh? Serbia. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, kinda. Uh, I mean, it's well, always cool, you... cool to uh, like see other people like, like within. People, uh, like, within uh, I can't think, I'm sorry. I can't think, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the cosplay community, I know. Mm hmm I never really understood that. Here we have one competition, and usually they pick a team. Last year was uh, some type of Japanese ghosts. Right. So you have to show up, literally nothing. I mean, you know, clothes, normal clothes, and you have items on the table. So you have, like... I don't know, two hours or I don't know how many hours, but you have to make everything that you put on in that room. Really? By yourself. Really? Yeah. That's an interesting way to put a competition on. Yeah. I never, see, I never heard that happen before, heard that. but that's actually pretty interesting. But that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, and you can see how, pe how creative people actually are, and, and especially if you give them like a team that you need to like really be creative. I don't remember what type of ghost. There was like, it was like a greed ghost or like something to do with the money or materialism. So, you know, you, you, you really have to like work here to be imaginative and creative. So it was interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of new cosplayers that hang around in my, uh, from my subscribers. From my subscribers. And, um, and I was wondering, uh, um, I was wondering um, do you think you could probably like give like some like, advice like, or some, some words of encouragement to those that uh, want to get into cosplay, uh, if any? My words, okay, let me think about it. I think the main thing that people struggle with this is what are other people going to say? Especially if you're, if you're from a small town. People are gonna judge you, people are gonna say uh, that why should you do cosplay you know they don't really see the logic you look stupid you look retarded and the main thing is you need to have an attitude and say fuck to these people find your tribe the people that really like connect with you and then will support you and you only need those people and even if that's not your parents i mean you know you should be okay with your parents don't fight but, you know, you need your friends, I should say. And that's it. Surround yourself with good friends and just don't give a fuck what everyone thinks. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, you are the one who lays on this pillow and at night thinks about, Oh wait, I want to do this, I want to do that, but I'm so shy, I'm so scary. Just go out and do it. At the end of the day, haters gonna, the haters gonna hate. Haters gonna, haters gonna hate. Yeah, no matter what you do. There will always be haters in the always world, haters, no matter what. No matter you can't what, avoid hate. It's always, always going to be there. Yeah, so why should you limit yourself? And exactly. And that's all she wrote. So give me one second. I'm going to go change out of this real quick. So be right back. <laughs> My hair looks like crap. I do apologize. My hair is like a wild mess since I've been wearing the wig like for a very long while. <laughs> but anyways, um... Guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope you guys. I really hope you guys that I, that I that I talked with via via Omegle has um has had a good time. I made. I'm glad I made a couple of laughs here and there. I was really happy about that. <laughs> um, also, major shout outs to these guys. I actually wrote them down on this piece of paper. Um, shout outs to Jules from California, Arognum from Scotland, uh, MTT Brand Garage from North Carolina, Alex from England, Kai from Ohio. And uh, intergalactic underscore human from Serbia. So, you guys are awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad I had a I had a major great time and a ma and just an overall um, awesome time with you guys, chatting with the guys. And it's been overall great to see so many people with um, similar interests. And it's just overall so great. I I do apologize. I'm like very tired. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again. And um, I this is actually my first time doing a funny enough. 
Um, I never done Omega before. This is actually brand new to me. I might do another. We I might do another one of these again. Uh, I'll probably have to set him up or something, but just like let him know. Otherwise, it'll have to be just random chance he'll try and find me again. But uh, anyway, thanks again, guys. Be sure to look forward to. Um, I'll probably post on like say my Facebook, my official Facebook cosplay page, or my Instagram. Uh, one of those two would probably be, or at best probably would post about it. So thanks again, guys. And of course, as usual, I will see you guys next video. Jamata. Mm -hmm.